Cranial nerve number five, the trigeminal nerve. As the name implies, trigeminal, it has three branches, right? And the branches are ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular branches. So you just spread your fingers like this and you have the three branches and where they end up. Now, the trigeminal nerve with these three branches, they exit in different parts of the skull. And we know when you look at the cranial nerves that we have them starting more anterior and then they move posteriorly. So cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve, will go through the cribriform plate right here. And then cranial nerve number two, optic nerve through the optic canal. And then you need to keep moving down in this case. And here you have the superior orbital fissure. You see that? Now, the superior orbital fissure, as the name implies, is in the superior aspect of the bony orbit. And that's a very elongated hole. That's why it's named fissure. Now, passing through an elongated hole, you have more than one nerve. And passing through the superior orbital fissure, we will have the cranial nerve number three, oculomotor nerve, cranial number, number four, the trochlear nerve, the first branch of cranial nerve number five which is the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. And also we have cranial nerve number six, the abducens nerve going through the superior orbital fissure because it's a long hole. So we have several nerves passing through that long hole.